uh, greetings. So this lesson is about percents, percent strength, and ratio strength. So before we can talk about percent strength, let's just review uh, about percents, okay? So percent just means per 100. Okay, so we've got the percent sign there. And so if we have 50%, that is 50 per 100. Now I'm going to teach you everything you have to know about the percent sign in the next uh, 30 seconds or so. Okay. Listen carefully. So if you need to add the percent sign to your answer, just multiply by 100%. So if you have 0 0.25 and you want to change that to a percent, you multiply by 100%. Not 100, but 100%. So 100% is what? If you have 100% of a pen, you have one pen. So that's equal to 1. So we're multiplying 0.25 by a form of 1 to change the appearance. So of course, you have 0.25 times 100 is 25, and the percent sign falls over into the answer. Okay. If you want to remove that percent sign, you divide by 100%. So let's say we have 59%. Uh, I get rid of that percent sign. Divide by 100%, okay? So you have 59 over 100, or that would be equal to 0 0.59, okay? So add the percent sign, you multiply by 100%. To remove the percent sign, you divide by 100%. So this falls into the same uh, system we have of multiplying by one. You know, say a thousand milligrams per gram uh, on that note. So um, always remember, 100%, you multiply by 100% to add the percent sign or divide by 100%. So a lot of drugs are expressed in a strength, a percent strength. So we have this 0.9% sodium chloride or this 2% uh, mupirocin ointment. Okay, so we have a mixture of um, two different things. It can either be a weight-weight where you weigh out the active ingredient and you weigh out the base. So this would be a weight-weight. It can be a weight volume where you weigh out the active ingredient, the sodium chloride, and then you measure the volume of the water, right? So this would be a weight volume. And then I don't have an example of a volume volume, but you know, if you had like a 10% glycerin solution, you'd have 10% um, in a volume um, in a base of water. Okay, so you have glycerin and water, both um, liquids are measured by their volume. So the trick to all these problems is when you get the strength, if it says 0.9%, you have to figure out if it's weight, 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 volume, or volume, volume. Uh, sometimes it's pretty obvious. You would know that you would weigh out the sodium chloride and you would measure out the volume of the water. But you can also look in the fine print, and here it says, 0.9 grams of sodium chloride uh, QS to 100 ml of water. So you can see it's a weight volume. So once you get 0.9%, then you have to, it's going to be 0.9% weight volume. But that doesn't fit into our equations, the W and the V. We have to change that to grams and mLs. So remember this. Weight is always grams. Volume is always mL. So now we have 0.9% of so weight volume, but we're going to run it 0.9% gram per mL. Now it's in a form we can use in our problems, okay? All right. So let's just do a real simple one here. If 
And so we have a 500 ml bag of um, normal saline, 0.9% sodium chloride. So let's calculate how many grams of sodium chloride are in this 500 ml bag. Okay, so the units of the answer will be gram. The given is the 500 mLs. We're saying, here's 500 mLs. Tell me how many grams are in there. Okay, so 500 mL. And now the, this is the ratio in this problem. Okay, so it's 0.9% gram per mL. Now eventually you're going to know that this is the same as 0.9 gram per 100 mL. But if you don't, you can always go back to the basics, divide by 100%. And now you have 0.9 gram per 100 mL, right? mLs cancel out. So we multiply 500 times 0.9, divide by 100, and that's going to be 4.5 grams, okay? So once again, you have to sometimes add your own units um, on these things. If you're not sure, look on the fine print and you can figure it out. Okay. So remember, weight is always gram, volume is always ml. Now some drugs are written with a ratio strength. Uh, the only one I can think of that still uses that system is epinephrine. So you might see like one to a thousand solution of epinephrine. And since I can only think of weight volume um, drugs with the ratio of strength, when I teach I just put the problems as a weight volume. So just like with these weight volume problems, the first one is always gram and the second one is always ml. So we have one gram per a thousand ml. And in our system, of course, it's going to be much easier to write one gram over a thousand ml. So when you see this, change it to that. That's your first step. Because you can't use that in our system. Okay, there's no units on there. It doesn't make any sense to us. This makes sense. So just doing, let's just do a simple problem. Say how many milligrams are in, um, let's say, 100 mLs of a 1 to 1,000 solution. Okay, so we're going to change that to 1 gram over 1,000 mL. Right. So we're going to put, we have to end up with milligrams, we have to get rid of the ml, so we know that we're going to stick it in just like it is here. One gram over a thousand mls. Mls cancel out, but now we have grams, but we need milligrams. So we have to change grams into milligrams, so we put another ratio in there of 1,000 milligram per gram, right? And so that works out, so if the thousands cancel out, so that gives us 100 milligrams, right? Okay, so when you see this, change it, that's your first step. Make sure it's a weight volume, um, and um, then do your problem. One little side note, you know, when you're working, if you see a drug with a ratio of strength like that, look in the fine print and it's going to say so many milligrams per mL. Use that to calculate your problem. Um, there have been so many fatal mistakes with epinephrine uh, using the wrong strength. Uh, it's a very dangerous system and you're better off avoiding it if you can. Oh, thank you.